to download Unity and Visual Studio. Alright, welcome to the very first tutorial of Unity, which is downloading Unity itself. Uh, so in this channel, you are tech, we are going to be starting a new series, which is a Unity, um, okay, uh, which is Unity tutorials and as well as Visual Studio, because Visual Studio is needed for Unity. So before I start this video, I just want to mention that today's shout out goes to Dragon XD. Uh, he asked for a shout out and we are going to be shouting him out. So yeah, go ahead and go to his channel. Go ahead and subscribe and all that. Alright, so after that, uh, we are going to be opening our file. Sorry, our Internet Explorer or whatever Internet Explorer you use. Chrome, Google or whatever. Uh, I'm actually doing this on a laptop, PC. So this is the website which you need to search for. I will be putting it in the description to help you guys out. So all you need to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open a new tab. And if you guys don't want to go in the description and all that. So just go ahead and search for download plus unity. And it's going to be the uh, f second one from the top. All right. It's going to call download unity. So this is the Unity website where you can download it. So there are two options, download Unity Hub and download, uh, sorry, choose Unity plus download. So click on download Unity Hub and it's going to open this up. And once it's opened, all you need to do is click on this little arrow that is shown. And I'm just going to click on cancel because I've already downloaded it. Alright, so uh, so you guys don't need to click on cancel. You have to go and sh uh, sh do it and show in folder and then go ahead and download it. So once you've downloaded it, it's going to open this little icon called Unity Hub. It's going to have like a piece of paper with the Unity symbol on it. Alright, so it's going to take some time to open. Alright, so this is Unity Hub. The version which we have here is 2.3.1. Alright, so these are all the different projects which I have been creating, uh, but we can go ahead and ignore that and go straight into the installs. Now, uh, for installs, you'll have to install the actual Unity app. So go ahead and go ahead and uh, click on add and then add a Unity version. As you can see, we have many different versions here. We're going to click on Unity 2018.4 because that's the one I'm using. Uh, click on done and it's going to go ahead and load. As you can see, my cursor is loading. And there you go. So this is, uh, as you can see, it is downloading. All right, so as you can see, the bar on the top, which is the blue bar, is moving right there. Okay, and there's the it, it is an LTS, which is long-term support. So I'm going to click on cancel because I've already downloaded it, as you can see. So once you've downloaded that, uh, you're going to have this actual Unity app a, on your desktop. Okay, so it's going to look something like this uh, the, with the Unity symbol and some colorful designs on the side. So that's like, that's loading. All right, so once you open Unity, as you can see, if you guys remember, it's going to open again Unity Hub. All right, so once it opens Unity Hub, uh, first is loading, so it's going to take some time. Just go ahead and wait for a while. As you can see, it's loading, so that's going to take some time. All right, there you go. So it's going to ask me to sign in and I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. We have the email and the password. You guys can go ahead and work offline if you guys don't want to show every, uh, anything to uh, to other creators. All right, so these are different. Uh, these are other types of uh, projects which I've been working on. So click on new or open. I'm going to click on new to create a new project. Go ahead and rename the project to, let's just say, uh, begin, be, beginner, B-E-G-G-I-N-N-E-R, beginner. Yeah, beginner, go ahead, fix the spelling, which I just typed. All right, beginner and tutorial, T-U-T-O. R-I-A-L tutorial. All right, so go ahead and rename it. 
uh, the template you can change the template uh, and also the location so I think the location is good uh, change the template these are different templates there's 2d 3d there's 3d with extra there's high definition RP and other different types there's also VR so I'm going to click on 3d because uh, you know you can create a 3d project in unity all right so once you've done that you can either cancel which I don't want to do or uh, and you can go ahead and create the project so after creating the project this takes a bit of time so uh, yeah so it's going to take some time so we'll just go ahead and wait all right and once it's done uh, i'll get back with you all right so uh it is finished creating the new project which we have okay so you're just going to go ahead and wait for it to load and there you go so it's saying hold on and all of that so it's going to take some time okay I'm just gonna go ahead and skip real quick okay so let's we'll go ahead and go further okay there you go so you can see it's saying hold on importing scripts so this should be the last and final one right now we are in unity hub waiting for the project to load as you can see it is loading so uh now like I said uh, in the very beginning, this is going to be the very first tutorial of our project uh, that we are going to be creating. So as you can see, it's, it's saying, hold on. All right, here we go. We're almost done in three, two, one. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So this is the uh, main uh, Unity, which we have here where you can create your own game. Uh, the main desktop, as you can see right now, it's asking me for the new version, which I don't want. Alright, so this is the uh, 3D template which we have chosen here, okay, and uh, now this is Unity, right, okay, we are done with Unity, so we're about to start with, um, uh, like I said, which is Visual Studio, because I mentioned in the beginning we were going to do Visual Studio, so now let us start with Visual Studio downloading. A few moments later. Now to download Visual Studio 2019, the first thing you need to do is download, sorry, op uh, launch the browser of your choice. I personally use Chrome, alright? So, and once you've launched it, you need to search for download Visual Studio uh, off mine, okay? Uh, I will be putting the link in the description on where you need to go. So for now, just go ahead and search for download Visual Studio offline. And um, let me just show you what happens once you search for that. Download uh, Visual Studio offline. Okay, and it's going to go ahead and load. All right, so it's going to be the second one from the top. I will, I will be putting the link in the description. It should say download Visual Studio 2019 for uh, the Mac and PCs. All right, so here we have different versions of Visual Studio. We have the Community Edition, Professional, and Enterprise. As you can see, Professional and Enterprise says free trial. Uh, free trial means that you can have it for a limited time for free, but then eventually you'll have to pay. So it's a, a, actually a paid version. Professional and Enterprise are paid versions of Visual Studio 2019. So uh, you need to go ahead and launch the uh, or download download the community version uh, as you can see the first one now there are there's more information about it uh, the Visual Studio 2019 right here okay uh, Visual Studio as you can see say it says Visual Studio 2019 but we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and download the 2019 uh, community edition as you can see down here uh, it tells me to keep or discard so uh, go ahead and click on keep because of course you want to download so click on keep show in folder and go ahead and double click on it and then it's going to open the visual studio installer okay so you're going to click on continue all right and it's going to go ahead and download and install so once it's done doing that i'll get back with you all right so now uh it's done downloading okay and once it's done downloading uh what you'll need to do is uh, as you can see it has said that you need to go ahead and install all right so after installing is going to say getting things ready uh it's going to take some time to load as you can see it's saying checking for updates as well uh almost there 
Okay, so just go ahead and wait for it to be done. All right, so this is where we are, the workloads, uh, what you need. Okay, and we have Python development. I don't think I'll need that because we're going to be doing Unity. Okay, so uh, there's the game development with Unity uh, and also game development with C++. Uh, but we, do, uh, it, we don't really need C++. We actually need C Sharp. Okay, so right now we have the different uh, workloads, alright, so we have game development with Unity. Uh, you can go ahead and check that, as you can see it says create 2D and 3D games with Unity, powerful cross-platform development environment. Okay, we have data science and analytic applications, we don't need that. Now, down here we have download all, then install. Now, before I continue, just want to mention the benefits of first downloading and then installing uh, Visual Studio. Now, the benefit is that you can go ahead and download it uh, and install it. And once it's done, uh, if you guys like want to go ahead and download it and install it again, you can go back to the file that is saved uh, onto your computer and then go ahead and download it again. Uh, so that's the benefit uh, for that. So make sure you guys go ahead and click on download all and then install in the corner and go ahead and click on game development with Unity. Uh, I don't think we'll need game, game development with C++. So I'm going to go ahead and untick that. All right, we have the individual components as well. Uh, okay, let me just go ahead and go through the workloads because we need to make sure we have all of them. All right, so these are the individual components. Let's just go through them real quick. Do we need any? No, I don't think so. We have a lot of them. Cloud, no, we don't need any cloud for Unity, uh, make, uh, for ga making games with Unity. Code tools, yeah, we just need C Sharp, uh, Visual Basic, Resolent Compilers, Okay, C sharp. We um because Unity requires C sharp script, uh, and so does Visual Studio. Okay, so we have many, many more. We have uh, that's I think yeah I think yeah we're done. We're we're done with what we need. Like let's go to language packs. English, yes. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, in installation locations. Uh, just I think program files would be good for the C drive. Let me just go ahead and check. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, so just go ahead and do this. Go ahead and unclick the keep download cache after the installation because um, it'll save a lot of space or a lot of uh, data on your drive. All right, and once you've done that, uh, you're going to go ahead, it's going to go ahead and install. Okay, uh, right now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cancel because, you know, I don't, I don't really want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on cancel uh, because I already have the Community Edition 2017. So I don't really need 2019 right now because I don't have space on my hard drive. So go ahead and click on more and then remove. That's how you can remove an uh, installed uh, version of Visual Studio. All right, uh, okay, so go ahead and cancel the download. And it's going to go ahead and take some time. It's going to ask you for a survey, but I'm just going to click on not now because I don't want to waste my time. Okay, so go ahead and installing. This might take a while. All right, done. There you go. So we have canceled Visual Studio Installer 2019. Uh, sorry, the community edition of 2019 because we all we already have 2017. We do not need 2019. Uh, and on top of that, I don't really have space on my hard drive, so we are good with that. Uh, that so that's how you can download Visual Studio and Unity. Uh, I hope you guys all like this video, and uh, yeah. awesome 2d and 3d games and also we downloaded visual studio we also installed visual studio as well as i showed you on how to install unity hub and also installing the 2018 version of unity all right and i also showed you uh like i said visual studio visual studio is a coding 
uh, software where you can code and then in, vi in uh, Unity you can connect th to Visual Studio and then uh, Visual Studio and um, Unity are like connected so you can go ahead and code in Visual Studio and then in Unity the game is being made so it, it's pretty cool on how, you, how they're both related uh, you can use other types of coding so softwares as well but I personally use Visual Studio because it is the best I really like uh, uh, I really like how uh, e e easy it is uh, to use Okay, so that's what we did in this video and make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, go ahead and like the video, uh, go ahead and support the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button, comment down below if this video was helpful for you. This was part two, part one of the Unity, uh, down, uh, Unity gaming series on how to make games and all that, so it's pretty cool working with you guys on part one. Uh, we will be making part two and many more parts. Uh, it's like a complete series of Unity. So uh, yeah, go ahead and click your notification bell for any other videos that will be coming in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, tutorial uh, for of the Unity series and tutorials. Hasta la vista.